fire sparked today near Summerhaven on Mount Lemon. This is where it's located on Carter Canyon Road. And this is video we have from earlier today of this slow moving fire. The most recent update by the Forest Service has it about five acres burned and 20% contained. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos. And I'm Christina Myers. Now your side's Keaton Thomas is covering the fire. Kyler Diggs is standing by with details on the windy conditions today. Let's go out to Keaton first at the base of Mount Lemon Highway, which was closed this afternoon, but has now reopened. Keaton. Yeah, that's right. It's open now. There's no more barriers across the road here on the Mount Lemon Highway. And as far as the fire goes, we're told that it is a human caused fire and it's currently under investigation right now. And uh, the Forest Service also tells us that uh, no homes up there are in immediate danger at this point. But back down here at the base of the mountain as the uh, Mount Lemon Highway was closed here earlier today, well, let's just say it disrupted some plans out there. We're going to go camping. That was the plan for Sean Bovia today. That is, before he was turned around by sheriff's deputies blocking Mount Lemon Highway. Uh, I guess we're just going to go camp in my backyard now. So. And a number of people made that same U-turn this afternoon, the reason being a small brush fire burning on the mountain. Fire began up here above Summer Haven on some private property on the mountain up there. It started on private property, burned through mostly private property, and then on to some forest land. To be about uh, 50 yards from those houses, pretty close. Doug Horner has his own home on the mountain, and he estimates the fire is burning about 150 feet behind his backyard. I'm a late night person, so I'll be staying up late and I'll be watching. <laughs> he built his home in the same area burned by a fire back in 2003, this fire burning that same location. And the Forest Service tells us it's a good thing because burning through some of the old fuel left over from that fire. And although the Forest Service says no homes are in danger right now, Horner's still going to be on watch. Sure, if the wind picks up and the wind's in a bad direction, it could blow the fire down here. The biggest concern now is water during any type of fire because he uses rainwater and a pump. If there's a big fire here and the electricity goes out, I wouldn't have water to fight. Even flames licking at my deck, you know, I, I wouldn't have water so I could just watch it burn. And so as night fell here tonight, the Forest Service says that they saw a lot of decreased activity in that fire. And while this fire is down of sorts right now, they're hoping that their firefighters up there can make some significant progress here tonight in fighting this blaze. Reporting live at the base of Mount Lemon, I'm Keaton Thomas, KGO 9 on your side. Thank you, Keaton. Now let's